Hey everybody, we're back here with uh, Madison and Mary, and they're here to talk about Residence Rights Month. Uh, there's a lot going on, and what is the what is uh, the most important thing about uh, this month for you guys? Yeah, well, thank, thanks for having us, and we did um, want to come and speak a little bit about the Ombudsman Program, and October is Resident Rights Month, so we right. wanted to talk a little bit about the importance of that month. Um, we uh, both work at Missoula Aging Services, Madison and I, and... Um, the Ombudsman Program is one of many programs at Missoula Aging Services, and our mission is to support the independence, dignity, health of older adults and those who care for them. Nice. <laughs> could, uh, Madison, could you tell us a little bit more about the program? Yeah, of course. So, um, as Ombudsman, our main role is to advocate on behalf of the residents to ensure that they have quality care while in long-term care facilities. Mm -hmm. um, and we do that in a variety of ways, um, like investigating and helping to resolve resident complaints exactly. and um, ensuring that they don't get discharged improperly from the facilities. Um, another role that we play is also educating staff and residents and family members on resident rights and the ombudsman program in general. Cool. And I think that the one thing that really stood out to me on the email that I got was just like being able to listen to the people who need help, people asking for help and find out ways how you can help them. And I think that's very important, especially when people are in either nursing care, assisted living homes, or just the next step after retirement where they're just in non-assistant, but they have the uh, amenities close by just so their voices can be heard. And I think that's a a really awesome program, and I know that Missoula Agent Services really advocates for aging adults and their, those who care for them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to that. Exactly, yeah. yes. So, um, so October is Resident Rights Month. It's a national celebration of Resident Rights Month. And the theme this year is reclaiming our rights, our home, our life. So, um, you know, during the past year and a half with with the COVID environment, um, some of those rights were somewhat diminished. Yeah. Um, and for the protection, and rightly so, for the protection of the residents so that they um, could be protected from COVID by not having visitors in the facilities and limiting some of their outings and things like that. Yeah. So, so this is a perfect time with Resident Rights Month to think about restoring those rights a little bit. And although we are still not out of the the risk right we are trying to restore some of those rights and work towards um, really recognizing the importance and honoring those residents who live in long-term care um, so it's it's a very important month um, just to celebrate and honor all the contributions of the residents and um, to really you know bring those rights back in as the cornerstone um, that's the cornerstone of the ombudsman program but also it's, um, so civil rights are much like human rights. Right. And, you know, oftentimes we don't think about that in terms of someone being in a facility. It sometimes can seem more institutionalized. Yeah, especially during the last year. It's like you're not able to see your family, you know, family who just come, who would come and visit you. Mm -hmm. You know, then those folks are just like, you know, I want to see my grandparents, but I'm worried I might, you know, I might kill them because of the, the sickness that's going around and everything, and just everything was just so shut down, and like a lot of the senior residents were just so isolated. Yes, yes, and it's been, it's been um, kind of difficult for, yeah. for the residents and the staff and um, everyone involved, the families. And so I think everyone is doing their best to protect the residents and provide them with the quality of care and quality of life that they need and that they deserve. Um, so, you know, during Resident Rights Month, we just like to highlight those resident rights still are important and, and it still is the resident's home. Um, so if people know someone in long-term care, they can certainly reach out and visit during this time if it's allowed. I mean, based on the circumstances, yeah. but certainly calling, writing cards, um, you know, try to see if, if they're not allowing indoor visits, if they have window visits available or some type of video chat um, where you can still yeah. make that connection. And anything can help. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're also looking for volunteers and help. So Madison, do you want to talk a little bit more about people who can volunteer? Yeah, so our volunteer program, we're looking for people that can reach out and um, help with like socialization with people in long-term care. Um, yeah, and it's, a, and it's a great way just to touch base with folks because even because uh, I've interviewed people from Missouri Agent Service all the time mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, Meals on Wheels is another program and it's one of the few checks a lot of those folks get. I mean, they're 
a certain degree very independent, and some of them don't have that kind of living indoor assistance that they would have, but also the nonprofit, which is Missoula Agent Services, does so many programs, and this is just one of those programs that really helps residents as a whole, even if it is just checking in with them and seeing if they're okay. Yeah, that, that's exactly right, and we rely so much on our volunteers, so anyone who's interested and has a heart for working with people who are in long-term care, um, interested in educating people about resident rights, we would, we would love for them to give us a call and um, talk about that process and what that looks like. Yeah. And if you want more information, you can also go to their website at MissoulaAgentServices.org, uh -huh. and you can find out more information about this program and more. That's, that's correct, and um, also we do have our call center where you can call Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 at 728-7682, or like you said, check out the yeah. website. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining me, guys. I really yeah. appreciate it. Thank you yeah, thank so you. much. Yep, and this month is Residence uh, Rights Month, so give some rights to some residents. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks, guys.